and girls, and welcome to the concession stand here on the KB Radio Network. I am your host, Kevin Reed, and this is the review of Prime Video's DC Studios' brand new animated show, Batman, Cape Crusader. I, I am so excited for this. I, if you've uh, known me, <laughs> if you know me any you know, time of your life for five minutes, you would know that I am a giant Batman fan. Comics, TV shows, movies, it doesn't matter. I I love Batman. You know, grew up uh, watching the reruns. Not I'm not old enough to have watched it in its original form, but the reruns of the old Adam Ress uh, 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 Batman show from the 60s and, you know, uh, Michael Keaton jumping onto the big screen in 1989 and reading The Dark Knight Returns uh, uh, graphic novel, which changed my life and a lot of people's lives who read it back in the 80s and, you know, getting different variations of this character uh, through different medias, whether it was Michael Keaton or uh, Val Kilmer or, oh my God, George Clooney, um, <laughs> Christian Bale and uh, Ben Affleck and, and Robert Pattinson uh, in live action. We also got the great Kevin Conroy voice in the character for the animated series which was a staple of my teenage years it is truly up there with x-men animated series those those two animated shows were uh were two shows that i considered the best animated shows to ever be put on tv i i don't rank them i always say 1a 1b uh, because those are two well put together excellent shows that honors their characters perfectly from the source material, which is comic books. And when you think back to Batman the animated series and what spawned off of that, all of the animated movies that came from that show, all of the spinoffs that came from that show. That's when we got Superman, the animated series off of that show. We got the justice league off of that show, justice League unlimited. If all that came because of Batman, the animated series. So it, it holds a special place in my heart. And so when this show was announced, what, I think in 2020 during the pandemic, they announced this, that J.J. Abrams and Matt Reeves were producing this. Matt Reeves being the director of The Batman, which stars Robert Pattinson, I, I was like, okay, <laughs> let's see what you got. This is... This could either be excellent or it can crash and burn. <laughs> I don't know if it'll be an in-between. And so we'll see. And, you know, what can they do new? That's where I was interested in. What can we do new? We've seen Batman. I've just listed off a, a laundry list of different Batmans that we have uh, received throughout time and in different media. So what new flavor can you bring to the Batman lore that would draw me in as a Batman fan who knows everything there is about Batman and his villains well what what what, what you gonna do <laughs> what you gonna do well Batman Cape Crusader uh this go around the show offers a darker kind of a noir inspired reimagining of the Batman lore it focus on Bruce Wayne as he's he's not new this isn't an origin story of batman thank god but this is him it is not batman year one i would say is more batman year two or three where this is set and he's in the early stages of his crime fighting career in gotham city and uh this draws inspiration from a lot of the stories in the 1940s uh 50s and 60s and so this this is a real uh, throwback type of show. Um, the voices in this show, we don't have Kevin Conroy. Uh, he passed away a couple of years ago, who is the Batman in my eyes. There's no other Batman who played the, per played the part perfectly than him. And he just did the voice. But he captured the essence 
of Batman through his voice. He had the perfect voice for Batman. He, so much so, not only did he voice him in an animated show, he did in the video games, in the uh, animated movies, everywhere they used Batman other than live action. Uh, he voiced him. They even snuck him in on, uh, I think it was the Arrowverse when they did the Crisis on Infinite Earths on the CW a few years back. And they went to a different Earth, and Kevin Conroy was Batman in that <laughs> in that universe. I thought that was cool, even though the show, they, they messed up Crisis on Infinite Earth. But that's another story for another day. Uh, but taking over for Kevin Conroy is Hamish Linkletter, who I'm a huge fan of after watching him in Midnight Mass, which was on Netflix. And... I was like, man, I need to see more of him. I, I really l loved his performance in that show, and I love that show. And he's taken over as Batman. <laughs> so I was I was kind of confused when that was announced, because like, I know his voice. And he does not carry a Batman voice, <laughs> in my opinion. But I can honestly say, I can honestly say he did a good job. Now, is he Kevin Conroy? No, because it's not fair to do that. It's not fair to compare him to Kevin Conroy. He's nowhere near. Nobody is nowhere near Kevin Conroy as far as voicing Bruce Wayne or Batman. Uh, but I did like Hamish uh, Linkletter's performance. I did like his voice. It fit the character for this show. This Batman, it, fitted per it fit perfectly, I felt. And I think he did a decent job. Now, there were moments, uh, certain episodes where it, eh, it was iffy. <laughs> it, it wasn't flawless uh, throughout all 10 episodes. But um, for the most part, overall, I think he did a pretty good job. We had Jamie Chung voicing Holly Quinn. Christina Ricci uh, voicing Selena Kyle, a.k.a. Catwoman. We also had Crystal Joy Brown as... Uh, Barbara Quinn, not Barbara Quinn, Barbara <laughs> Gordon, um, Mini Driver as Oswald the Cobblepot, the Pingram. Yes, they gender swap Pingram. And I don't care. Uh, I, I saw the internet getting a little titsy about that, but I mean, it didn't hurt the character. That character was still the Pingram. I don't, I don't understand <laughs> what people were upset. It, this was the same character. It just so happened to have breasts. Who cares? <laughs> Honestly, who cares? Uh, but this voice, uh, this voice cast was pretty spot on. Uh, I enjoyed them for the most part. Uh, like I said, uh, Hamish was a little shaky. And, and when I say shaky in episodes, it wasn't the entire episodes. It was just moments or scenes that that character just didn't quite get there with the voice performance. Uh, Jamie Chung as Harley Quinn, I, I didn't, that's the only character I didn't like. And not so much the character, her performance. I didn't, I didn't really feel her performance. Uh, everybody else did a uh, pretty good job. I, I enjoyed the voice acting here. The tone of this show is the stuff of legends. We, we, or should I say we're, uh, we're, we're spoiled when it comes to Batman anime animated material because the animated series was so dark in tone and so moody and and ominous and all whatever adjective you could think of it it was just perfect for a batman show and so doing this show can it capture that same essence i would say yes i would say it really did do a Excellent job. Excellent job of capturing the tone of Gotham City. Gotham City was a character within itself. It, it felt dark and grimy and dirty and nasty with this uh, underbelly of crime and corruption and all that's going on. It, it, it's, it, you felt it. it, it you, you truly felt like this was a place. That you did not, not not just live. You didn't want to live there, but you didn't even want to visit. You know, <laughs> it's just that bad. And what made it what made it so interesting was, 
how they utilize the supporting cast, how they utilize just the average residents and citizens of Gotham City, just randomly, you know, to see what they're going through and putting them in storylines, not taking up a storyline, but have them interact with our leads and, and things of that nature, whereas you can really feel what the people are going through there and the fear that they fear, you know, and uh, you, it just felt lived in. And while I was watching this show, I'm sitting here like, how can I feel this on an animated show? In some movies, I don't feel that way. It feels so fake in live action in some movies that I watch. And I'm not even talking comic book. I'm just talking movies in general. The world doesn't feel lived in. You know, it, it feels like a stage. It feels phony and fake. But, but this show, this animated show, managed to make things feel so real <laughs> it is mind-boggling to me uh, but uh great job uh by the showrunner the writers that's on this show and uh the directors of these episodes it was 10 episodes um 30 minutes each can blow right but this was one sitting for me uh <laughs> of course i was anticipating this so i had a lot of uh motivation behind it but uh I think it's an easy watch. It's it moves fast. It it never slows down. Now there are a couple of episodes in here that I, I question why why is this even on this season? <laughs> you know, they just out of nowhere episodes. It, it it just felt out of place to, as to what's going on in this season. Now this season does have a through line. We do have a continuous story that starts at episode one and ends in episode 10 and I put ends in quotation, but it really goes throughout the season. But this is really a week to week procedural. This is more of law and order. I mean, it had the villain of the week, uh, <laughs> format and everything, but it still kept the core storyline, the main storyline going throughout and it linked up with every other story that was popping up every week. And I thought that was genius the way they executed it. Um, look, I, I, I enjoyed the show. Is it the greatest thing since sliced bread? No. Is it uh, better or just as good as Batman, the animated series from years ago? No, it's, it's not up there with those. Uh, uh, with those, I'm counting the bread. But it's not it's up there with that show. But, but it is a really good show. It, it does tell the Batman story in a new and unique way. And I do enjoy it for that. Batman, the Cape Crusader, which is currently on Prime Video, uh, nonetheless, <laughs> which is crazy. Well, let me tell you the story about that real quick before I get a degree. This was initially supposed to be on Max, but uh, Warner Brothers, they uh, decided that they weren't going to put any quote-unquote kids shows on max so they got rid of all that that's why young justice and all this other stuff that's why that's not on there no more on that uh streaming app and so they sold it off to prime video and prime video hurry up and picked it up <laughs> and and uh not only a purchase the first season but greenlit a second season which i am super happy about Batman Cape Crusader, which is currently on Prime Video, gets a letter grade of a B plus. Uh, really enjoyable watch. Uh, nice to see Batman being a detective. Uh, that was fun to watch, and it just brought back a lot of uh, nostalgic energy on uh, this property that I think we needed because we um, we've seen so many different versions of that character who doesn't use his genius doesn't use his detective skills and uh it's it hurts the character in the films when they do that so i, I never understood why they didn't utilize batman in that way on the big screen because it was it's silly to me that's why i enjoy the batman with robert pattinson so much which is odd for me to say because i never would have thought it <laughs> but i enjoy that batman that's the closest thing to the animated series you're going to get. 
Uh, but uh, this this year, Cape Crusader is is right up there with it. Is it, like I said, it doesn't overtake it, but it's up there with it. But I would love to know what are your thoughts of Batman Cape Crusader? Did you like it? Did you hate it? Are you Batman out? Uh, are you tired of seeing Batman? You like man DC? You got. 500 characters use <laughs> pick another one we're trying to see a batman and i understand but unfortunately i love batman if every dc prop uh a project involves batman you have my money so that's just me but i can understand if you feel differently but i would love to know exactly how you feel about this email the show kb radio podcast at gmail.com you could also search for the show on all social media platforms just search for the kb radio network also don't forget to subscribe to the kb radio network channel on youtube and like this video if you don't mind also don't forget about the five stars the reviews and sharing this show if you're listening on apple Podcasts, spotify iHeartRadio, wherever you are currently listening to the concession stand here on the kb radio network everybody thank you for joining me for this review of the brand new season or the new show Batman Kate Crusader on Prime Video I want you all to know that I love you continue to love everyone and until we speak again you all be blessed